गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू फाइन ओके वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑफ बिजनेस स्टडी नाउ टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक एंड दैट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ मैनेजमेंट फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज वेल एज for the society as a whole okay in the previous session we had discussed about different objectives of management in detail and i hope you may have gone through these objectives from your textbooks also and after finishing this chapter i would like to give you some important questions which may be asked in the board examinations okay come to the point the point is what is the importance of management okay it is said that anything minus management is nothing okay here what does anything mean anything means a combination of human efforts and the resources to achieve some predetermined goals and objectives that means where there is a concept of group there is a need of management why because the efforts of the people working in the group cannot be you cannot be utilized in an in a coordinated manner and to utilize their efforts in a coordinated manner towards accomplishment of goals and objectives a a specified type of human ability is required which involves high skills and expertise to utilize the resources okay this is the science of management basic science of management okay i am giving in very short right thus from this point of view management becomes the most important aspect of an organization without absence of which the resources cannot be utilized properly now let us do more elaboration through some basic points such as first of all we can say management helps in achieving group goals okay let us first see what are the group goals of an organization take up the example of a business organization the group goals may be increase in sales may be increase in profit may be increase in market sales and many more goals can be fixed as group goals okay just you think how can this group goals be achieved without direction without proper supervision without proper communication without effective leadership and without many other things which are involved in management therefore we can say the group goals of an organization cannot be achieved 
without the presence of management okay this point is clear the second point is management increases efficiency efficiency of what efficiency of the people and efficiency of different departments of the organization so that overall efficiency of the organization can be increased okay how does management increase this efficiency you know through proper utilization of man machine material and money that means if man machine material and money are utilized effectively and efficiently and in a better way then the efficiency of the enterprise increases okay clear next one and that is management creates a dynamic organization okay in what way let us see modern business is carried out in a fast changing business environment and in this changing environment the managers have to bring about many changes within the organization also but you know when the managers make effort to initiate changes then normally the employees resist they do not like changes okay they do not like frequent changes but sometimes it becomes essential for business compulsions to bring about the necessary changes okay thus when such a conflicting situation arises in the organization then the management motivates employees and guides them to accept the changes okay and this way a dynamic organization is created by management this is the importance of management in an organization and there are some other important points also which may highlight the importance of management in an organization such as management helps in achieving social objectives management helps in achieving personal objectives management helps in achieving the economic goals of nation management helps in exploring business and many more points can be given in support of management okay so i hope you will go through this topic in detail from the textbook and if you want to discuss something then you may contact